Hey, this is Bremster, and this is a puzzle in the um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a puzzle in the KG Constraints pack, um, which is a pack of Killer Sudoku, which has been a couple of years in development now because we did a lot of work on it, and then um, everything caused it to be delayed, and I have been unable to um, get the ball rolling, and I'm getting the ball rolling by recording videos of it as tests. So I'm retesting these puzzles. I've solved most of these puzzles about 18 months to two years ago. Um, let's say 18 months ago. And now I'm going to go through them again. Now, this is a puzzle I set according to my records in about August 2022. Um, and I don't know that I've looked at it since. So I'm going to call this a blind solve of one of my own puzzles. Um, it is listed as an easier puzzle. I don't remember anything about it, but I do have in my notes that when we were setting these packs, um, we were encouraging the use of the killer cage calculator built into Sven's Sudoku pad. I don't know if... Um, uh, I've been trying not to use it as much in about a year now. So... I don't know if this is rated easy with use of the calculator or without. Let's find out together. Assassin's Teapot by Bremster. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, and digits may not repeat within cages. Um, and digits separated by a black dot must be in a 2 to 1 ratio. Digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, we do know that... Um, the minimum of four cells you can put into a cage are one, two, three, and four. And if I add those together, I get 10. So a four cell 10, uh, a four cell 10 cage must be one, two, three, four. Now on this black dot, that actually means something because one here would need two here, but I don't have it. Two here would need one or four here, and I don't have it. So this is three or four, which means this is six or eight, because on a black dot, you have a low digit doubling to a, um, or a low digit doubling to an even digit. And these are all of the low digits. One, one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight. These are all of one, two, three, four. So this has to be the double digit. So it has to be even and two and four is not available. So this is six or eight. Now, eight in this 12 cage would mean that these would need to sum to four, but the minimum I could put in them is one, two, three, which would sum to six. So if this is one, two, three, this is six, which means this is the three and there's no three in here. So that is completely forced. That is probably why this is considered easy. Um, so this becomes forced. Now, ah, this consecutive dot. This has to be consecutive with one, two, or three, but um, one, two, and three are not available. So that has to be the next lowest digit, which is four, which makes this the three, which means these um, uh, puts three up here. Can I put three in a four cell 22 cage? I think I can. But anyway, four here means this is two or eight, and two is not available. So this is eight. Eight is only in a ratio with four. These have to sum to 20 now without using one, two, three, or, or actually that's not true. I could use one, two, three, or four, but these are five, six, seven, and nine. So the minimum here is 11. So the minimum these sum to is 19, but I'm not sure what that's doing. What's this black dot? What is this black dot? This can't be one, two. It could be two, four. It can't be three, six. It could be four, eight. There is a four on this dot. So there's no two. Ah, right. So there must be a four on this dot because it couldn't be one, two, because that would break this cell. So now, um, because this is two, four or four, eight, there's a four on the dot. That means that this is one, two, which means there's no two here. This is a four, eight. And the eight here, of course, means that this is the four. This is the eight. These now sum to 12. So these have to sum to 16, which means there's seven, nine. That's really cool. This is an eight. So these have to sum to 14. Not sure. Now, this three means this is a six, which means this can't be one, two, it can't be two, four, and it can't be three, six. This is four, eight, and this four makes this the eight and this the four. These now sum to 14. So these two digits have to sum to eight. I could use one seven. I can't use, so this could be one seven. And if it is one seven, I can't put a seven on a black dot because you can never put a high odd digit on it. So it's either one seven. It can't be two six. Remember these sum to eight. It could be three five. 
and 4, 4 doesn't work. So this is all that's possible in here. If this is 1, this is 2. If this is 3, this is 6. That's cool. And these are 5, 7, and 9, and must contain a 9. What? Hmm. I'm really not sure where I should be looking. Possibly because the now four and nine are both in this cage, so that's thirteen. I need another thirteen, so four nine would go with five. If it was five, I need I need another thirteen, which is either five eight or seven six. So this is eight or six only, and the six of course means this is the eight, which means this is five nine, which looks up making that the seven. This is twenty one, so this is the one, and this is the two. That's really nice. I'm not trying to speak up my own thing. I don't remember this puzzle at all. The eight means this is a four. Now this can't be one, two, four. So it's three. Oh, this is three or six because it can't be one, two, four or eight. So this is a three, six pair. So this can't be three, six. Hmm. But if this is 4, 3, that's 7, and these would need to sum to 14, which would be 9, 5. If this is 4, 6, these would need to sum to 11. I couldn't use 9, 2. I couldn't use 8, 3. I couldn't use 7, 4. I couldn't use 5, 6. This is, nine, this is 4, 3, 6. These have to sum to 14. I could use 9, 5. I can't use... 8, 6, and I can't use 7, 7. This is 5, 9. Giving me a 5, 9 pair there, which is interesting. This is a triple now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, not 4. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 6, 7, and 8. There's no 6 there. There's no 7 there. There's no 8 there. Now, if this is 2, 6... That's eight. These would have to sum to 14, which would be nine, five. If this is two, eight, these would sum to 12, which could be nine. Th or it couldn't be nine, three. It couldn't be eight, four. It, could, it couldn't be seven, five. This can't be two, eight. This is two, six, because I, I can't do the correct num math there. This is seven. This is eight. So these do sum to 14, which has to be 9, 5. I need to use a, a, a high digit in it, and 7 and 8 are not available. These are 9, 5. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the 4 here makes this the 3 and this the 4. This triple, 1, 2, 7, and there's no 1 in those, so that's the 1. So this is a pair, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 go into those. That 8 makes that the 7 and that the 8. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. Probably should be looking at these dots, but I'm enjoying what I'm finding. So now this can't be 1, 2, or 2, 4. So it's either 3, 6, or 4, 8. This 12 cage, that's got to be important. I can't put four in a 12 cage. So if you can't put four in a 12 cage, what are the ways of making up a 12 cage? This is where if I was better at Sudoku, I would be, I would be better off. Because how do you make up 12? I need to add two to one, two, three, four. So it'd be one, two, three, six, or one, it'll be one, two, three, six by adding two to four. Or I could add one to both three and four and make it one, two, five, six. No, one, two, five, six is too many. One, two, four, five. 
but it can't be one, two, four, five. So this is one, two, three, six, I think. Yeah, that has to be correct. And yes, I either, I either add two to the highest digit or one to both of the high digits in order to get there. So it's either one, two, skipping three, four, five, and I can't put four in it, or it's one, two, three, and then I add two to the highest digit, one, two, three, six. This isn't a six, this isn't a one. Oh, this isn't a three. Now, I'm not sure what to do here. This, this, if this is two, this is one. Otherwise, this is a three, six pair. If this is a one, this is a two. If it's a two, it's a one. Otherwise, it's a three, six pair. I don't know. This can't be one, two. So it's either two, four or four, eight, because it can't be three, six. So there's a four in one of those two. That can't be an eight. This is where the math is causing me to fall down. Probably tested with a killer calculator is probably what I did. And that's on me. Oh, this isn't six. So this isn't three. This isn't six. So this isn't three. This is eight and four, which means this isn't the four. This is the two. And this is a... This is the four. The two makes that the seven and that the two, which means that's not a two. So that's not a one. This is a three, six pair. There's no three, six here. This is a one, two. So this can't be a one, two. This is a three, six. This is a three, six. Nice. Now, can I do something here? Maybe. All I know is my gut tells me maybe because these are one, two and seven and there's no two there. Hang on, this is one, this is two. This is one or seven for the row. So if this is five, these would need to sum to 14, which would be six, eight. So if this is four, one, this is an eight. If this is four, seven, these have to sum to eight, which would be three, five or six. Okay, if this is four, one, Five, these sum to 14, which would make this an eight. If this is four, seven, these sum to eight. Couldn't do six, two, so it'd be three, five. This is a five or an eight. I don't think that's what I should have looked at, except I need to put eight down here. This is an eight. So now we look at it this way. These sum to 12, these need to sum to seven. So it's one and six and three. That was the correct way to do it. The one makes that a seven. This column, one, two, three, four, this is a five. So this pair is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and nine. Now, if this is four, nine, that would be 13 and those would need to sum to two. That's the three, that's the nine. This is seven, these need to sum to eight. Seven, one is possible. Two, six is not possible. Three, five is not possible. They are seven and one. There you go. Okay. Now, with this being an eight, these have to sum to 14. There's going to be something there, I know, and I just don't know how to use it. One is in one of those two. This six, of course, makes this five and this six. That's been there for ages. What is this? This is seven or nine for the row. That's got to have an impact. Because if this is eight, seven, this is 15, these would have to sum to seven. And they would be, they couldn't be one, six or three, four. So they would be two and five. Now, if this is eight, nine, this is 17. And these have to sum to five. And I can't use one, four or two, three. This is eight, seven with two, five. These are one, two, three, four, five, six and nine. This is six and nine. One, two, this is two and five. This six makes this nine and this six. The six makes that three and that six. The nine makes that five and that nine. The five looks back making that two and that five. This row is missing a one and this box is missing a two. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, three and eight. This eight makes that the three and that the eight. 
this triple one two three four five seven and nine there's no seven there actually there's no five in either of those so that's the five we, whenever i get a triple like this i always look at the wrong place first but that's probably just confirmation bias because i remember when it happens one two three four five six seven these are three and nine so that's the three that's the nine there's no three here one two three four five one and six go into those and I've pretty much done all the killer now. The six makes this the one and this the six. The one looks back making that the two and that the one, which makes that the two. The twos come out of those. The one here makes this the four and this the one. Um, the two here makes this the five and this the two. The five looks back making that the nine and that the five. The nine looks across making that the seven and that the nine. Down here, this five makes that the nine, that the five, which makes that the nine and that the five, and the same nine makes that the seven and that the nine. And that's the correct solution to the puzzle. 14 minutes and seven seconds. Now, I don't remember this puzzle at all, but I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully the if you got stuck on this or you're just enjoying the puzzles because they were there or whatever. Um, yeah, now I'm recording these months and months and months in advance. I am recording, trying to record the entire pack before I... Um, I release anything. Um, it's already 18 months overdue, so I figured this was going to be my way of testing the puzzles, and then I would use my experience with the videos to try and uh, put the puzzles into order. So we will see how it goes. Thank you everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.